So this is all the parts that you need to build a Traxxas X Max from scratch. And in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use all these parts and we're going to put them together and build a Traxxas X Max using nothing but spare parts. So this is my current X Max. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a mess. Originally, I broke it and I decided to pull it apart to check out the damage. And it was just way more damage than I originally anticipated. So I thought maybe a new one would be a good idea but I already had some of the expensive parts that I would require and so I thought it'd be cheaper just to basically replace all the parts and then use some of these that are actually still good as spares. If you've got the electronics and diffs and body shells then this may be a good option however building an X Max from scratch and having to buy like a body shell diffs that are really expensive expensive electronics may not be the way to go so just keep that in mind that we are going to be reusing a couple of parts that would otherwise be really expensive. I also did it because I thought, you know, getting some mods like this and being able to cherry pick what parts I use would also make the price a little better instead of going out buying a new one and then having to just buy this again anyways, which is just going to add onto the total cost. So I'm going to be reusing the Proline Brute body shell that I had. Obviously, it's pretty new. I have damaged the back a little bit, but it's only been through a couple of runs and once I give it a clean up, it'll come up really, really well. Now, a couple of things I've done off camera, which is rebuild this motor and put some better screws in it, as well as I have rebuilt the diffs and given them a clean out it's just something i didn't really want to do on camera because it's tedious i'm going to be reusing the rpm hinge pin mod and the drive shafts which the only reason i'm reusing these current drive shafts because i'm actually still waiting for the wide x max kit to come to australia and i've got the radio link this is all stuff i've had i'm going to have the max 6 in there running with the stock motor and yes guys i'm going back to the stock motor i just think the more power i added the worse it got now this is kind of contradictory because i have brand new arms which are not the wide max kit however i did have to have something for this build and I thought the red would be good and I'll probably go with the red wide max kit. I've gone with red toe links as you guys can tell the theme's pretty much black white and red. Coming up in the back we have stainless steel Trax's lower bulkhead and also the top bulkhead hinge pins. We have these little washers spaces I don't know I thought they were cool and we have a push drive eliminator from GPM we have GPM hardened steel outer drive cups, GPM bell crank cover RPM rear hubs and bearings these are a must. We have GPM bell crank, we have RPM bumpers there's another bumper around here I couldn't find it but I have the front and the rear. RC screws stainless steel screws which off camera I actually sorted up into to a bunch of little boxes to make this build 10 times easier. And we have front and rear hardened CVD joints from GPM. I had to take these apart just to double check and make sure everything fit perfectly with the original drive shafts and they do. Plague racing bearings which are a really high quality bearing kit and I have a new radio link receiver which is going to work perfectly with our radio link radio. However guys, although I'm going to be using the radio link radio, it's not going to be forever as I have a Noble Fly Sky MB4 on the way from Banggood for a review and I think from what I've seen that's probably going to be my go-to radio and the rest here is all the stock parts besides the wheels i've gone with some louise uphill or better known as the duratrax six packs wheels these are belted they're only about 100 grams more each than the stock tires which is why i really liked them i did like the trenches but they were just really really heavy and they ballooned a lot where these don't but taking a look at all the stock parts i'm just not going to go through them all there's just so many but basically it's every plastic that you can buy i even went and got some new shocks battery trays and hubs and oh just so much guys engine covers skid plates springs diff covers so guys i'm super pumped for this build i cannot wait i am ready to get started and i will try and sleep as well not only does building an rc car take a while but building and filming yeah, that also takes a very, very long time. And the video is probably going to be longer than normal. So guys, let's jump into the build. I'm so excited. I finally get my X-Max back. I think the biggest question to ask, guys, is where do I start? All right, guys, so it looks like I'm going to start off with the arm assembly. I'm going to build and assemble the hubs, attach them to the arms, and then put them aside in a box, and then move on to something else.
Okay guys, all the drive lines are done, now it's just time to assemble them to the arms. Guys, we have got all the arm assemblies all made up with the drive shafts and everything in there. I'm absolutely loving this look. The silver, the red and black, as well as the stainless steel, because the hinge pins are stainless steel. But as well on the front, all the screws are stainless steel, as you can see here. And yeah, I'm really just loving the color aesthetic right now. I'm loving these stainless steel screws. They're very nice and high quality. We'll probably start doing the chassis modules right now. Wow guys, this looks absolutely awesome. We have all the arms all hooked up, all the steering bell crank and cover and whatnot. So this is the front of the chassis. So this is the front module and obviously we've got the diff done. We've still got a bit to do. I've still got to build the shocks and put them in here. And I still need to add all the front bumper. So let's not wait around, let's keep going. These are some beefy links. <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure that is the front all done. And I can already tell that suspension is so plush. Definitely going with the red theme here. And uh, I really wanted to get the silver bell crank. Unfortunately, blue was the only color they had in stock, so I had to go with that one. I didn't want to heavily modify it. I wanted to keep a lot of it stock for the durability, like the arms are stock, all the hubs and that are stock, drive shafts are stock. These GPM I actually only went with because they were cheaper. Diff covers are stock. Everything's pretty much stock. The only thing I did want to go with is the hardened steel CVs, uh, the aluminium ones. They just kind of wear out over time. And obviously, I wanted to get a different bell crank. Mine kept slipping. I, th I think it's tastefully modified. So let's get on with the rear. Now for the suspension, I've gone with a 30 weight at the front. You didn't see me build it because I had to work it out. But for the back, I'm actually gonna go with the 40 weight just to get a little bit more dampening.
All right, back bit is all finished up, guys. And as you can see, stock motor fits in there perfectly, obviously. All beautiful and new looking. I absolutely love this red design. And also the RPM, the GPM, the stainless steel. It just all ties together so, so well. Guys, now it is time to start working on the center of the car. That shouldn't take too long, and then we can start bulking it all up. All right, look at that brand new chassis, guys. Beautiful. All right, Max 6 ESC is in there, looks beautiful. Just held in with a couple of screws and just kind of peeled some plastic away and drilled some holes and yeah, now it's in there really nice. And we just need to put this center brace on. Okay, you guys might remember this servo from the Max. It's the Savox SB 2290SG. This thing is an absolute monster of a servo. It's like 60 or something kilograms on 8.4 or 7.4 volts. And as I said, I was probably gonna take it out and this is actually why. I just didn't wanna mention this project in the video. So we're putting it back into the X-Max. All right, I've squished the wires down in there now and I'm just putting on this box. So I know I haven't bound this receiver just yet, but for now, I just wanna sit this on there until we are completely done. All right guys, all the center of the car is done. All the chassis is in. We do need to put some foam into here, but I will do that shortly. But what we need to bolt it up to the rear is all done and the front, it is all done guys. It is time to actually put it together. Let's do it. All right guys, we'll start out doing the rear to the center. Yeah, that's one click. And that kind of just clips into place like that. Now we do have these screws, these screws down here. Okay, a lot of people say that you need to cut off this center brace. You absolutely do not if you're running the Max 6 with the stock motor. All you have to do is trim down this middle piece here and it fits perfectly fine. And yep, this Max 6 is pushed all the way over there, so it fits perfectly. But don't cut this off, guys. You're just gonna weaken that center, center brace. Probably not by much, but I wouldn't do it. Okay, guys, it's time to bolt in the second half, but we have to make sure that our drive shaft goes in. Put that in and make sure you can turn the wheels in the motor and we can slide in the second half. It is a little bit fiddly. Also, if you're using the proper servo mount like I am, don't forget to line it up with that hole. All you need to do is stick this foam block at the end, right? And if you're running Z9000s, then boom, they fit in there perfectly. There's no side to side, is it? There is like literally no up and down. So close, now we just need to put on the wheels. Guys, we are finished. Just a couple of little things, just like minor stuff, like this antenna. And I've got to get a little rod here for the steering servo. But other than that, guys, it is done. And it sounds and looks absolutely beautiful. Look at all that red and silver and black. And I've also got some brand new Zs, the 9000 milliamp hour batteries. You guys know I love them. Links in the description. All right, and my Kronos is currently borrowing the heat seam, but once I finish the bash, I'll put it straight back on, as well as I've got another fan coming for the ESC. So, big powerful fan, big powerful heat sink. And currently it is on stock gearing, but I do plan to gear it up. All right, guys, so until we go out and take it for a bash, that is going to be all. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Turn those notifications on so you do not miss when I upload the running video, guys. Until then, peace out. I love you all. Bye.